Hello, my fellow Minecraftians. I'm fired up here, and we are not back in the hardcore world today. Yeah, I decided. Uh, well, okay. Well, let's let's be real. I've been playing a lot, a lot of my den, modded Minecraft in my free time, and I just really, really wanted to play some Skyblock. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm not stopping the hardcore world by any means, but um, yeah, I do kind of want to play around in modded do that for a while. So I think some of my streams are going to be doing that, some I'll be doing the hardcore, and uh, we'll just kind of go back and forth. But this particular mod pack is Project Zone 3. It's not new or anything uh, by any means, but it's super fun, and I really want to play it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, hang out a little bit, and do some things and some stuff and whatnot, and let's go. <clears throat> Okay, I first first off I need to fix my audio real quick because it's super loud. Okay, so I think I think I think I'm just kidding, I know what I need to be doing. Uh these things shh, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. So let's take a look here in the quest log, cuz can't really do anything until we do this random acts of kindness and this is just a detection business check marks and whatnot it gives us some starting items uh, particularly dirt oak sapling which is important some rak just for doing that and a diamond whoopty yay i'm rich uh yeah so let's go ahead and what we're gonna do here is move over to the side of the island plop down our little tree and um we're just gonna, we're just gonna twerk it out for this tree. Twerking for the tree. It loves it. It's its favorite. It wants, it wants me to twerk for it. There you go. Yes. Come on. I'll be dancing. I'll be dancing. No. Maybe. Maybe not. Yay! A tree. Okay. And then. I believe I already have vein mine set, so what we're going to do is actually slap these leaves real quick. No! Oh! 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 My. Just kidding! Oh! Oh! Wow. First thing, right on. Crushed it. Alright, that will probably happen a lot, because I'm the worst. But, we're going to go ahead and mine out this tree here. Get ourselves some wood. That's good business. I think that actually, yeah. So we're gonna need four logs, saplings, apples, and a wooden crook. So first things first, what we're gonna do here is actually turn all these logs into planks. Go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table and turn that into a crafting station. Uh, these things in here, cause I don't need them. Yes, so. We'll go ahead and just set that down there for the moment. No. 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 What? Why? Why no things? Okay, here we go. And we're going to turn these into some slabs. Just kind of extend out our island a little bit so we have some room to work around. Just give it a little, little border here. Boop, boop. Boop and boop. And then maybe if I can reach around this. Now guys, this mod is super cool. And I'm sure anybody that happens to stop by my stream will have heard of it. Or seen somebody play it or whatever. There's a lot of really uh, talented YouTubers and streamers that actually have played Project Ozone. So it's not new by any means, like I said. But it's super fun. Um, I haven't played it a whole lot. I do have a world where I did quite a bit. Uh, but, yeah, I, I really just kind of want to play around with this mod and do some things. I really enjoy Skyblock, just in general. And, uh, yeah, I think it's super fun. So, that'll be good. It'll be a good change from all the vanilla business. Okay, we'll go ahead and get ourselves another tree. Slap some leaves around. Get these up. Get ourselves some more wood here. Oops. We'll throw down another tree just to keep that rolling. And then do this business here. 
Okay, so there's that. Uh, I'm actually going to extend that on this side first because I have some other crafting tools that I need to put right there. <clears throat> Okay, so something that we're going to need to work on is one, we need sticks. All the sticks. And we're going to want to do this to make ourselves some blank patterns. This is going to be some of the stuff from Tinkers. <clears throat> it's going to help us make tools and whatnot. And then we'll go ahead and move that. Get a stencil table. Oh, one moment. Sorry, guys, my wife was texting me about Tupperware. Story, story of the married man's life. All right. Let's go ahead and grow up some more trees here. Tree, tree. There we go. And now I am officially out of food steps. Yikes. Uh, I don't particularly want to use my apples, but I guess I will. Okay. That should be okay for now. What we're going to do before doing anything else is make ourselves a few of these crooks. That way we just get more out of the tree. Also, it's a quest, so there's that. Come on. Give me the tree. Give me the tree. And actually smacking the tree with the crooks gives us silkworms too, which we're going to need in order to get string, which is very important for the game. So we've got that. Let's remove these from here. We'll go ahead and build this here. Part builder. That's good. Uh, make a chest. Actually, actually a couple of chests here. Uh, one of these. One, there we go, is going to be our pattern chest, so that's good. And then we can place all these down. I'm missing a part builder, aren't I? I think it bees like this, maybe? Aha! Oh, the tool station is what I was thinking. Okay. Pattern chest, that looks good. And then we can go ahead and finish extending out our island here. So we're not going to continue to build with wood, uh, mainly because wood is kind of dangerous in this mod. So I found if you place torches around and they break or you drop one on a wood platform, it will actually catch the platform on fire. And I, I was playing this on my own in my own world that I just kind of fooled around in. And uh, I ended up burning down my entire <laughs> starting base. So, yeah, gotta we gotta be careful with that one. Uh, huge. This is four wide, and this is three wide. So this needs to be extended too. I think this is where we're gonna stop with the whole wood thing for now. Uh, this platform is large enough for us to work with, so. No worries there. Let's go ahead and grow another tree. And this one, we're actually going to, maybe, if it wants to grow for me. Come on now. Come on now. No, there we go. Oh, it's a little one. Okay. That's fine. Or whatever. Dang it. Ah, no. No, I made mistakes. I didn't mean to do that. Oh boy. Life is hard, guys. Life is real hard. Oh, four gathers. Dude, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. If you are, I'm assuming, gender right now, that's awful. Uh, thank you. Come on. Twerk me a big tree. I need a big one. 
sounded weird. I need a large tree, please. Come on. Come on. No? Maybe? Not? Probably? Sometime? In the near future? There we go. Alright, so this tree... This tree is actually going to get some... Gonna infest this tree with wormies of the silk variety. Okay, let's organize that. That's one of my favorite things about mods, by the way. Most mods have this auto-sort system. That's just amazing. It, it makes me super happy. Uh, and while that's going, what we can do here is actually shift right click the soil and that will give us some pebbles so we're just going to need quite a few stacks of these pebbles to get us started here yeah this part is not my favorite just pebbles collecting pebbles doing the pebble thing it's it's it's, it's a thing it is what it is but um yeah this is going to kind of get us our early cobble Yep, yep, yep. Come on. I need four stacks. Let's go. Crushing it. Crushing it. All the pebbles. I'd rather sit here for two or three minutes gathering a bunch of pebbles right out the gate than have to go back and every 30 seconds get extra pebbles just a huge pain so I think that should be okay for now though because it's going to give us a full stack of uh, cobblestone oh, I didn't know you could uh, in any kind of pattern that's cool uh, now we've got this tree here it's all white it looks like so that's gonna that's good that's gonna give us our first string We'll go ahead and make a few more of these bad boys. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, okay. Now we got plenty of string to work with, at least for now. Uh, we will grow another tree and get some more string out of that one as well. <clears throat> Just because I would like to get enough string to be able to work with it for a while. So, throw these silkwormies in here. Okay. Let's take a look at our questing book. It looks like we are one apple short, which is kind of unfortunate. That's okay. Take the sticks back. Let's take a, a look at other things that we got in the quest book. So we got some cobble here. We got 64 cobble. We need to make a furnace. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just put together a furnace. Now I'm not playing Kappa mode, uh, so it is a little bit easier. there uh, we need to complete this wood quest but for now this will be okay I'm gonna start making some uh, making some coal here or some uh, charcoal really okay we got that <clears throat> so let's go ahead and really quickly here just grow a couple of trees and uh, get the rest of those apples that we need so we can get that quest out of the way and start moving along with our lives here Mr. Tree, I need you to grow faster, buddy. Come on. There we go. Okay, so there's that. We'll go ahead and do this here. So we got all the apples that we needed out of that tree. I'm just going to chop this one down the rest of the way. And that's good. Uh, it'll drop some extra apples and whatnot. <clears throat> now, as far as I can tell, the best early game food is actually... I'm just going to make another furnace real quick so that I have two so I can cook this food. Actually, is going to be oh, let's do tiny charcoal so I'm not wasting my life. Actually, additions manual. And then we're also going to go ahead and throw down these chests that we made here. So we'll just put those right here. Nice temporary inventory to put things into. So we'll just put all those things in there. Uh, I'm actually going to take this diamond and make a builder's wand. Uh, that way we have one. So that'll be good. Uh, builder's wands are great. 
you can basically just throw down large areas of blocks, especially with the diamond one. It does quite a, quite a large area, so that's pretty cool. These these right here is what I was talking about. Cooked apples. Cooked apples are awesome. They give you four haunches of um, food, so yep, that's good. That's what we needed. All the nom noms. So we're just going to keep growing some trees here, and then <clears throat> well, actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's grab this quest that we completed so we can move on. So we did that. That's good. We got our silkworms and our strings. That's good. Uh, we did all the patterns and the initial tinker stuff, which is good. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to work on is either water to clay or sieves. Um, water to clay is going to require clay to complete. So I think the first thing we're going to do here is just go ahead and go for sieves. Sieves are going to be important for getting resources other than just cobblestone. So let's do the business. If I can uh, remember, oh wow, these are all from my other world, they saved, okay. Interesting, I didn't know that uh, JEI held on to things from other worlds that you generated. Uh, see if I, I can spell the things. Nope, I'm still spelling it wrong. Let's try that again, there we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on the C and bookmark that. I'm gonna make a few of these, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sieves. That's good. Okay. So as you can see, this is the sieve. Uh, we're not smelting it, but we can gather all these different kinds of resources from it, uh, depending on the blocks that we're sieving through it. What we do need in order to make those function properly is these. So we'll just make one, I think. Yeah, that should give us the quest complete, and then it's going to give us eight more, um, so we don't have to waste our resources to get the full nine mesh that we need so that's a thing let's go ahead and throw these seeds down just kind of right here for now it's going to be a lot of this early game stuff it's just going to be me throwing stuff wherever i happen to feel like is a good place for it I like that and then we're going to just extend this pad out uh just a little bit more on this side here That way, when things pop out of the sieve, they don't just kind of fly off the side of the world. Uh, especially early game, it's pretty important to not be losing resources for no actual reason. Throw these down here. That's good. Oh, all right. We got ourselves a little platform. We got our sieves. Let's uh, get these all sorted out here. Grab the rest of our apples grab some charcoal so we can make some torches another cool feature of this mod is um, the ability to tell where mobs are going to spawn so if you press f7 you see all these little yellow lines that kind of pop up around the ground these are indicating that mobs can spawn on these spaces at night um, if they're red that means that they can spawn on them during the day as well so kind of Gives you the ability to mitigate danger before it even happens, right? You're like, oh, wow, there's a little little spot here that I missed with the torch. You go put a torch down. Um, it also gives you the ability to make sure that something is dark enough to spawn mobs if that's what you're looking to do. Uh, okay, so a stencil table. Let's go ahead and work on this really quick because I, I do need some tools. Um, we're going to just make some stencils. So sledgehammer head. We're going to need the tool rod for sure. We're going to need the binding pattern. That's going to be important. We'll need the pickaxe head pattern, the shovel head pattern, the uh, axe head pattern, and then we're going to do the sword and the sword guard, wide guard pattern. So those are going to be just our initials. And then we also need the sharpening kit pattern. That's going to be useful later. The rest of them we can always work on at another time. But for right now, those are going to be the big ones. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just start out by making this sledgehammer. <clears throat> uh, I can, you can just make regular like, hammers, but the sledgehammer is repairable. Uh, so we don't have to constantly be, you know, making hammers over and over again. 
And then we're going to go ahead and make this stone axe. So that'll be good. Two little pattern. And then... What am I missing? What am I missing? Binding. We need another binding. So we'll make those. Go to the tool station here. Now if we just select the item that we're wanting to make, throw the requested resources into it, we get our stone pickaxe. And the same goes for the sledgehammer. So just throw the requested resources in, and we have our stone sledgehammer. Now, the thing that I want to make here is the mattock. Uh, this is going to <clears throat> work as an axe and a shovel. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Kind of just doubles uh, doubles the use for that item. I did that, and that wasn't what I wanted. That's fine. We'll just trash it. Okay, so we got the axe head. We're going to need the shovel head for this. Just throw that out for a second. Okay, well, that's fine. No worries. Uh, Mattock. Throw these items into here. Now we have a stone Mattock, and we are clumsy with all of those things because we suck and we haven't used them yet. Uh, we'll do that. That's good. Uh, and then we can actually throw this sharpening kit pattern into here also for right now. Take our cobble back. Now let's trash this bad banana jamma. And while I'm in here, actually, this little map <coughs> demonstrates claimed chunks. So if we click on a chunk here, it will claim it as our own. And not only does that demonstrate our dominance of power because we own everything in this chunk, but it also prevents uh, damage from happening to the lands in that area. So I'm just going to claim a huge land mass here. Uh, that way when we build out we have it claimed. This is going to be useful later when we're doing mob farming and stuff. So, you know, we get some John Cena's running around. They're not going to just blow up all our stuff. Okay, so let's see here. We got that done. Ah, yes. Moving on, we're going to break the heck out of this, turn it into some gravel, and then <clears throat> let's come over here and actually take a look at the crucible. Crucible. So the wooden crucible is two sticks, a slab, and some wood. We'll go ahead and make that. This is only going to be useful early game. It's literally not going to be used for anything else because it's kind of trash, but uh, that's okay. This is going to be our initial water source. So if we throw some leaves in there, you can see that it turns them down into water. Uh, so that's that. Hmm. I feel like... Ah, wood barrels. That's right. So wood barrels, I believe it's like this. Yeah, wooden barrels. So we're going to need a few of these. Um, these are going to be useful for converting dust into clay and also for converting uh, organic materials into dirt, which, let's face it, we're going to need the dirt. <clears throat> so just do that real quick here. Throw these in there. Well, I'm just gonna make four for now, uh, and we'll, yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, so let's do this. Before we go sifting anything, the first thing I want to do is lay some of this gravel down and turn that into nope sand. So we have sand. We're gonna take this sand and turn some of that into clay or dust. Now the other parts of the sand, take these back. Um, we're going to take some of this sand and actually smelt it into glass because we're going to be needing that soon. And then you'll notice that the game gave us these glass bottles here. Uh, these bottles are really our only source of transporting water at this moment in time. So I believe it's three bottles makes a full uh, barrel? No, four. Okay, four. I was wrong. We take this dust, throw it into the barrel with the water, and boom, we get ourselves some clay. <clears throat> Two. Let's 
Two here. Out of the way. Boom. Drop it. Two. And then we will take this dust here and throw some more of that in there. And that should give us quest complete for water to clay. Good. Good times. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to want to do is actually get ourselves a bucket because I'm already already tired of this crucible i don't even want to deal with this like at all so what we'll do is take this clay break some of it down to its clay ball counterpart and turn that into a unfired clay bucket take some of this turn it into a tiny charcoal here throw that in there and then actually convert the rest of this that in there, so we keep getting uh, charcoal coming in. What we're gonna do is actually take some of these things, RAK and all that, throw it into this chest here. Okay, so we got our clay bucket. Now, all we have to do is just keep filling this until we have a thousand millibuckets of liquid in there, which I think we already do. And now we have ourselves a water source. I'm going to actually make, if I can get all the stuff to do so, I should be, let's just do two. Ooh. This is a thing that's happening. Weird. You know what, guys? Hold on a second. Having some trouble with OBS right now. OBS is acting a little funny, guys. I'm sorry if it keeps disconnecting and reconnecting like that. My bitrate is super low for some reason. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well. Uh, we'll just have to keep around it, I guess. Hmm. My bitrate in OBS is fine, but my bitrate in streaming is not. Yeah, I'll keep looking at it and trying to fix that. In the, in the meantime, let's go ahead and just throw down this water here to start out our infinite water source. Yay, infinite water source. Never need this thing again. So I'm just going to take this out of here and put that in there. Okay, so let's see, what's next, what's next? Uh, lava generation, so this is going to be something that we definitely want to do, the unfired crucible, turn it into a fired crucible. In order to do that, we need bone meal. So bone meal, uh, I believe we can get through sieving, uh, which one, is it dust? Through dust. So let's go ahead and actually turn all of this business here into dust. I don't know why I'm not using my wand. Okay, so we got our dust. So 
actually turn to sand and dust as well. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I turned that into sand and then turned it into dust. Weird. Okay, uh, so we got that going. <clears throat> as you can see right now, we're really only getting uh, sky stone and bone meal, which is okay. That's kind of how the string mesh works. It's not the greatest. We will have to go ahead and see. If, oh, I guess we got some uh, gunpowder too, which is cool. Uh, we'll put those away. That's good. I think we can take this clay here. Hmm, that's not going to be enough, but I am going to convert some of this clay into another unfired bucket and do that business. And then what we'll have to do is get to clicking to make ourselves some more pebbles. Oh, clicking away, making the things, doing the stuff. I think actually I'm going to do is fire this bucket as well right now. So I think this should be an okay start. It's not great, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and place these down here. <clears throat> yep. Ah, dang it. Oh, no. Stop it. Okay, so we're going to need to... This land is going to stay hydrated, so... <laughs> It's going to be a huge pain in my butt. Keep clicking, getting some pebbles here, turn that into cobble, and then I need to do something with the cobble? What was that? Uh... Ah, I need a sharpening kit to fix my hammer. That's what I needed. to just balance that yep and that gives us 45 stone so we'll go ahead into our pattern chest grab sharpening kit boop boop this that take one of these just actually make a couple of them and then put this shovel head away boom repaired all fixed up now, as of right now, it is basically the same cost to repair this as it is to just make a new one. But later on, we'll be able to add modifiers to this that'll make it a little bit easier. So, let's go ahead and actually turn this gravel into some more dust here. So, we'll just do this business. There's that. And then we'll do this. Boom. Got that there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our bucket. I'm going to grab the other one as well, and we'll just pick up some water here. Probably should have built the water source over here. I might actually move that. Do this here. Boom. Got ourselves some more clay. Take that and turn it into unfired porcelain. And boop. Got ourselves an unfired crucible. Take this and throw it into our furnace here. And that will get us our crucible quest completed. In the meantime, I think I'm going to move this infinite water source over. So if I just do it like this, maybe. That. 
just fill this in real quick. Take these down. I kind of want the water source to be next to our wooden barrel since we're going to be using it quite frequently. Okay, well, that's that's fair. Okay, so now we've got this moved over. We can just throw these buckets right here, and that'll work like that. <clears throat> now we can just kind of take water from here and throw it onto these locations too get ourselves some more clay. So that's good. Let's throw a torch here. Maybe right there. Cool. And grab our crucible out so we can complete this quest. Grab some more R.A.K. And then, and then, uh, the next thing I want to work on, <laughs> which is going to change our life, is this cobblestone generator. Uh, this requires six cobblestone, one glass, hence the reason we made the glass earlier, and a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. The lava is going to be generated through this crucible. Uh, it's not going to be the fastest because we're going to have to, actually I'll show you, we're going to have to throw down a torch, put the crucible on top of the torch, and then fill this with uh, yeah, cobblestone, and that's going to slowly generate lava because torches are absolutely trash for heating and heating up, clearly. So, we're going to have to give that a little bit of time to generate ourselves some lava. Um, I mean, clearly, we only have, what, 40, 42 millibuckets with lava in here. We need a 1,000 in order to get a bucket. So, yeah. But in the meantime, what we can do is actually take some of this dust and uh, start sifting it for more bone meal. And yeah, that worked out perfectly. Super happy about that. Mm -hmm. Three bone meal. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's actually just leave that in there for now. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. We are going to end up having to get some more cobblestone, but just by clicking on things, but that's fine. Should be one of the last times that we actually have to do that. <clears throat> and this is why I prefer to just do the clicking thing for like a good five minutes at the start and be done with it, but laziness gets the better of us sometimes. Yep. Uh, it does for me, that's for sure. I need all the cobblestone. Let's go. Maybe. I think that's two stacks. Three stacks? That's two stacks. Almost. Uh, yeah, one, four stacks. One more. Okay. Hey, I can actually reach. I didn't know I could reach that. No? Yes. Okay, let's just check on this here and see how we're doing. Fill it up with more. We've got about 339 millibuckets so far, so that's good. Um, we're going to want to make a couple more of those. And, that. and then this time, I'm actually just going to make... Uh, some gravel. Uh, what did I do? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm just going to make gravel with this batch. 
and we'll sift the gravel itself. There is something that I want from it. Aha! And that is it. Flint. I need flint. I want to upgrade these sieves as quickly as possible. Um, I don't want to be messing around with string too long because it's very inefficient. So the faster that I can move up to these flint stiffened mesh, better off we're going to be. So we'll just do that. I think that also gives us a quest complete. Yep. So there's that one. We'll go ahead and throw this back into its spot here. Boom. One, okay. We'll also take the rest of the sand and uh, finish beating that into dust. That's going to take far too long. We're not doing that. <clears throat> For right now, I really only need the bone meal from this, so that's fine. Oops. All right. Well, we did end up getting some iron ore from the flint stiffen mesh, so that's good. Or iron ore pieces, I guess I should say. And we've got ourselves 11 bone meal, so that's also good. It's going to get us... Uh, towards moving into more more tinkers construct stiff. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna make some more cobble here. Okay. Hmm. Yep, yep. 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 Boom. Boom. Okay, we got ourselves some more cobble there. Uh how close are we? Fifty. Uh it's so slow. So slow. It's the worst. Alright. Let's break this down here of that <clears throat> good and this go back over there let's go ahead and try and see this through here I want to get as much out of this as possible Ugh. oh well no wait I already had that point maybe we'll just do this just to get flint um, yeah Okay, so we got nine, which will allow us to get one more of these flint stiffen meshes here. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, flint stiffen mesh. Uh, this here. Boop that. All right, we're getting pretty close to having that thousand millibuckets of lava in there. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is get ourselves a little bit more cobble here, and actually save that um, for the cobble generator. Mm-hmm. This should be alright. Okay. Uh, balance that. There we go. Got ourselves some extra, you know what? Three and then four. That way I don't have
don't have any extra pebbles just sitting around in my inventory. Okay, so we got our thousand yellow buckets. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. Now that's gonna completely destroy this bucket um, after we're done creating this cobblestone generator, but that's that's totally fine. I'm not uh, not tripping too hard on that. Let's see. Cobblestone generator. Here we go. Tier one. So, and that should give us a completion for the cobblestone generator. What we're going to do is actually take these chests here, like so, throw this cobblestone generator down, and put the chests on top of it so we don't actually have to click on it to get the cobblestone. Uh, now, at this point, it's not much faster than this business, but that's going to increase in frequency uh, as we move along here. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and we're just going to work on getting up to the flint stiffened meshes all the way around this thing. <clears throat> now this, raw rock candy, I'm actually going to convert into hardened rock candy and just throw it in here to make sugar. Um, we are going to be needing sugar fairly quickly, but yeah, for right now, we won't need it. It's good to have, though. Let's take this bucket out. As you can see, it destroyed that other bucket because lava just obliterates clay buckets, apparently. Which I guess makes sense. And we should have, yep, about 35 in here. That's good. So this is going to give us a continuous source of cobblestone, so we're not having to constantly click on things to get cobblestone. We'll just come back and forth and kind of sift as we go until we have our flint stiffened meshes all upgraded here. <clears throat> now, I don't know, let's see. I'm getting that eight so we can upgrade another one here. I'm just gonna kind of go along upgrading as I go. That way it gives my cobble generator a little bit of time to actually build resources in between trips here. Now that we've got about half of our meshes, almost half, turned into flint, I'm gonna start using those as the primary source of sifting just because the rates of getting more items out of them are going to be greater so whoop. just gonna boop some cobble in here like a these and that's looking real good we're getting lots of good stuff from there i believe it does increase our chances of getting Flint as well. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Let's, uh, let's, nope, that's not, that's wrong. Let's take a look here and see. Sieve, sieve, mm. gravel. So the flint or the string mesh gives us a 12.5 chance of getting gravel. This gives us a 15% chance. So the chances are increased. They just got incredibly unlucky for whatever reason. We're going to throw the rest of these ore pieces in here. We don't need them at the moment. This string I'm going to put in here. Uh, these are going to go in there. Those. The rack. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's looking good. Okay. Got to keep the inventory clear. It'll get crowded real fast. <clears throat> Let's throw down our sieve here and put that in there. And we can grab some more cobblestone. I'm just going to do this business. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, I'm not trapped. Ooh, scared myself. I guess I didn't actually have to go anywhere because I have some. Should be a sharp and keep telling me, dear. Okay. Just break the rest of this. That's good. Now we got 45 to go through, so we can just keep doing this here. Gathering resources and moving along. <clears throat> Oh. 
looking good. I actually need to do something real quick, I think. Oh, yeah. PO3. Oh, PO4. PO3. I don't know what I'm doing right now. There. Update my stream info. Okay, so that's good. We got ourselves some more resources here. We're going to need these. Uh, we only got four flint out of that one, but that is okay. I feel like we've gotten less flint out of the uh, flint stiffened meshes. Which is unfortunate because it's my, the resource that I need the most right now. Now, inevitably, I'm going to increase this this um, seeding station to a 5x5. Five five. Uh, it'll just be better, faster, stronger. We have the technology, whatnot. You know, you know how it goes. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut this down here. Oh, look, the tree grew. Yay, tree. So if we get another flint stiffened mesh, move these around. Go ahead and do this. Boom. So another reason, uh, I just kind of wanted to mention this in my stream here <clears throat> as we're playing around. Another reason that I'm kind of switching to Project Ozone for right now is uh, because, and I think I mentioned this briefly in my last stream, um, I actually did a stupid and broke my hand at work so my right hand which is my dominant hand my, my mouse hand is not super functional it's not the greatest it actually is working like trash so um my hardcore world is a little scary to play in just because um, my clicking hand doesn't work that great and uh, obviously if you die in a hardcore world you die and you don't come back uh, I just really don't want that to happen because my hand sucks. Uh, so I'm kind of, that's another reason I chose to play Project Ozone rather than um, do my hardcore world today just because I don't I don't want to get into a situation where I have to like click really quickly or uh, try and do something crazy and then I end up dying because my hand isn't functioning properly and just mess up my whole thing. So. Yeah, until that hand heals um, and is doing a little bit better, I think I might be playing my hardcore world less frequently, to be totally honest. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Do I have this set to a shape? No, I don't. I don't know why. It's probably because they're just breaking. All right. Let's go ahead and cut this down to Maddox, too. That's good. Got ourselves some goodies here. I guess I'll go ahead and cook these so we just keep our apple supply up and running. Turn those into hard rock candy. That away. And then that one too. Come here and grab some cobblestone, which is looking good. We got 60 now. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's just a Fun fact, some stuff that I've been going through in my work life and my real life that um, is affecting the way I'm playing games. <laughs> Unfortunate, really. I wonder if you can get, can you get diamonds from the Flint Stiffen Mesh? I don't really know. Like I said, I don't play uh, Project. All right, I don't play modded all that often. Um, just on rare occasions when I'm bored with vanilla and a sacrilege bored with vanilla. But oh yeah, you can from oh no from the iron stiffen. So I can't get emeralds or diamonds until we get up to iron stiffened. Interesting. I did not know that. Hmm. Okay. That's all right. 
That's all right. We will have the iron stiffened meshes soon enough. It looks like we've got quite a few chunks of iron ore, so I might actually start working on smelting those right now. Uh, even though I prefer to use tinkers to smelt early game, which is faster. But, yeah, whatever. Okay. So let's actually, yeah, let's actually smelt some of this down. I'm going to take these, I think that went out of there, and just, okay, convert these into layout business. Let's put this up, actually. Yep, yep. And I don't really need the charcoal all that much anymore because we have some coal in here. Yeah, no, I think but that's all right. So we'll just kind of let that do its thing while we keep seeing for flint here. I love vein mine is or or excavate I guess it is called is like one of my favorite things. I actually need some of this to make some more bows. Fix our sledgehammer here, and we'll see the rest of this out. take this iron and convert it and we'll just throw it into one of these here um, I want to move up in the mesh department as quickly as possible so yeah that's the thing I got ourselves some more cobblestone here I also want to upgrade my generator and my furnaces as quickly as possible because uh, it's really annoying to have to wait for those things to do their job <clears throat> And honestly, I mean, Tinker's is great, and it does double your ore production or the game, but um, having an upgraded furnace with ore processing is, is better, so, yeah. They both have their merits, though. Um, like, in the Tinker's, I think it's the seared smeltery or whatever, um, you can actually alloy things which is great uh, it allows you to take multiple types of metal and convert them into a specific something or other just depends on what you're looking for okay so this is going to be our last uh flint sip and mesh that we need at least for now um, like i said i will end up creating more of these as we go along so that i have the maximum amount of mesh or sieves that i can have but for now this is going to be just fine. So that's that's good. Uh, and I think actually what I'm going to do first here is just take all this iron out. Take our cobble generator if it doesn't want to fall off the world. And upgrade it to an iron grade. So a tier 2 cobblestone generator. Which is going to produce quite a bit faster. I mean it's not insane or anything. But um, it's going to be better just in general. So, and that also gives us another quest complete here. So we'll take that. Take that. You know what? Ha! I win. Anyway. Uh, so the next tier of cobble generator is actually a diamond tier, so we can't really do anything with that. Um, that's something that we're just going to have to kind of wait on until we upgrade to the iron stiffened mesh. And another thing that I want to work on is... Mm, I think I want the iron stiffen meshes first, and we can work on the Simply Tinkers um, tasks. So this is going to be getting us into the ore smelting portion of Tinkers Construct. Uh, or Tinkers. One of the two. Something along those lines. Tinkers complement. There you go. Uh, what we need for this is a bunch of porcelain brick. So... What we can do is we'll just let that smelt on that side. Take this, turn it into the tiny coal. The, the, the tiny coal. There we go. And kind of throw the rest of this in here. And we'll start smelting our unfired porcelain. Um, take that. I 
we'll take these and we can actually take this and start converting this into dust why is it doing that why are you being like that right now so let's cut this down boom yeah hammer there we go boom okay we'll do the rest of this too since it's not really that big of a deal we have plenty of cobblestone generating boop, boop. okay take some of this here and just turn this too high platform into sand because we're going to be needing it uh, 33 iron I think I'll just take like 18 of those and turn those into something goodies um, and then yeah we'll convert the rest of this into dust so we can get ourselves a whole bunch of Ugh. Off really high. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna be real sad when this wand breaks. I'm gonna be honest with you. Because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it to the to the next tier of C before it does break. But we'll go ahead and sift this. Um, that's also going to give us some some goodies like iron and gold and the things of greatness and power. And uh, another fun thing, uh, blaze powder, which is going to be really important. If we can get nine blaze powder, we can increase our lava production like nobody's business. It's actually quite quite a jump, uh, so that'll be good too. We'll really have to raise the bone meal, but. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have some blaze powder. Ooh. Can just not give blaze powder? Is that not a thing that happens? <clears throat> Luna was barking at someone, and she got so barky that she started barking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is there someone up there? <laughs> Hold on, guys. I gotta check on some stuff real quick here. Oh, you're doing skyblock with them? Yeah, you're doing skyblock. Yeah. What? What are you Wait, talking about? Out here. No. Stay with the boy. Yeah, you stay with him. Yeah, you stay with him. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I, uh, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, I don't know if anybody heard any of that, but, um, my dog was barking at something, and I always gotta check and make sure it's not somebody trying to break into my house or whatnot. Anyway. Moving on back to what we were doing. Let's go ahead and put not that some of this other stuff away here Boom put all that away. Okay, that's good And then we can take this Okay And convert the rest of our clay balls into unfired porcelain now Oh Yikes, we're gonna need more dust all the dust is going to be needed Let's just Take a bunch of this here. I think that should be okay. And we'll do that. And put that in slot two. Break this down. Shaboop. Get this out here. <laughs> what? What? Why? Why you do these? Okay, well now we have to cut this out, and I'm kind of scared to just mainline it, because, yeah, I don't want it to break my entire island. And I was trying to break that instead of place block. Okay, so we got ourselves some sand here. Let's put the rest.
rest of the sand down. Oop, 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 oop. Gotta heal our hammer again. We're getting plenty of use out of this guy, which is great because we're already at a comfortable level. So we have four modifiers on it. As soon as we can get access to obsidian, uh, we can start upgrading this. Okay, so now take our bucket and just start making up some clay. Clay, clay, clay. Do, 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 do. Like a this. Like a this. And a this. And the do the clay. Yep. So I think that should be enough um, to get ourselves some of these here. Yep. And we're going to need two of these actually. So we'll just make those and fire faucets. Take our glass, fire those, and now we can start working on some of the porcelain items here. So let's do, uh, I think, which one is cheaper? The window. So there's a the window, the gauge, and the tank. And I'm going to go with the window because glass is easier to get than porcelain is so that's a thing um the porcelain melter we need so we can do that and then we're gonna have to make another window actually no wait the gauge yeah the gauge is what we're going with so we make the gauge here that's good <clears throat> we should be able to make ourselves the porcelain casting table boom and then we just need few more here. Wow, I actually did my math perfect on that. I actually didn't do math, guys. I lied. I, I, I did no maths. I just thought, like, yeah, I'm going to make this much. And that, that happened to work out perfectly. Weird how that functions. So I think what we'll do is actually put this over here. Now, the problem here is we are going to need there and then put one each side here we're going to need lava for this particular thing uh which is kind of a pain but it'll be all right and it's actually fortunate that we had some clay left over because i'm going to make a few buckets here yep but another thing that i want to work on kind of while we're waiting for our lava to go down is I think it's like this yeah porcelain casting basin there we go got ourselves another quest completed um i don't know if it has an actual quest line associated with it beta no no it does not that is oh actually it does epsilon epsilon uh the crushing table this is something that i really really want um it requires the iron mesh to actually get the achievement for it so we're gonna go ahead and try to upgrade some of our iron stuff here take that and we can actually do this put some more iron in there convert all this it's four iron pieces to every iron ore chunk so that's a thing uh, let's do this i'm just going to convert all of this into tiny coal hate that it's so expensive to smelt right now in my in my other world i actually have a zenith furnace which is insanely fast and has a bunch of upgrades on it so it just like blows through items it doesn't use any coal in fact it, i have it set up to where it uses lava specifically which is really cool um but yeah not in this world not today mm -hmm. So let's take a few of these down. I think we can make at least a couple of them. Let's see, 6, 12, 18, 24, 36. Yeah, I have 34. Okay, yeah, that's a thing. Now I have 36. So we're just going to upgrade as much of this as possible. Like that. Yeah, 6, I knew it. All right. Now we have the flint stiff and meshes, which is going to give us another quest complete. And we can go ahead and throw these in here. 
So now that we've done that, we have unlocked Epsilon. And we can go ahead and claim the Iron Stiffen Mesh quest. Um, diamond, we're not going to be getting to for a little bit. That's okay, though. Uh, di all Diamond really does is increase the rates of things. This, though, the crushing table, is something that I want, like right now. Uh, aluminum ingots. Which is great. And actually, I kind of shot myself in the foot with that one. Uh, yep, aluminum. take these out I'm just gonna let that one smelt down and then we're gonna smelt up three aluminum ingots that's gonna allow us to make the crushing table 12 by 14 so I can actually upgrade two of these one and two so let's do that boom 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 good and we're almost done upgrading all nine of our original sieves to iron stiffen. Now there's two. Here's the third one coming in. That's good. Let's go ahead and look at the crushing table. Crushing table. Here we go. So we need planks and stone slabs. Let's do Okay, here we go. We got a thousand millibucket for this business, so we'll go ahead and do this here and throw that into. Wait, nope, that goes in there. There we go. And then let's actually throw some more cobble in here if it'll let us. So we keep that rolling. So some iron. We got our stone here, which is good. We can do this. Boom. And then I think it was like. This maybe? Nope, it was reversed. I make it a boo boos. There we go. Now we've got that going. Uh, we'll go ahead and put some of these items back. So that's the crushing table completed. We'll just. I wonder if it's going to still function right there. Uh, so in order to actually use the crushing table, we need to make. Magnetic craft. Uh, oh, I need to add it. Oops. Add magnetic craft. Here we go. We need this the stone hammer. So let's go ahead and make that. We could make an iron one, but I don't want to. So that's a thing. Uh, what we can do is place. Dang it. Okay, this is not going to work. I have to move this. There we go. We'll just put this like right here. And place our iron on here and actually take the hammer and crush the iron down into iron plates. And that gives us the ability to make a new item, which is going to be super useful so we don't have to keep making buckets. Yay, buckets. Let's, um, let's actually upgrade this last mesh here. I don't know why I use the pickaxe for that, but you know what? Such is life. Okay, so we're going to upgrade our last mesh. Boom. I got that done. Let's go ahead and actually pull the rest of this stuff out of here, and we're going to break this down and turn it into where is it? The iron furnace. That's going to be much faster than the janky stone furnace. So, yeah, it's not crazy uh, fast, but it is a lot faster than the stone one. So now that we've got that going, let's go ahead and check our quest book. So we've got uh, some of Epsilon completed here. Go back to Alpha. we got our Iron Furnace completed. We've got nothing else completed because, yep, that's a thing. Now, what I want to work on is moving into the the smeltery what we need for that is grout so we need to do i am grout i am grout mm. uh so we need clay sand and gravel all the good things in life so we have dust we can do that uh, we have some cobblestone which we can convert into 
sand and gravel. I'm going to put that clay back because we don't need it right now. <clears throat> so let's do that. We're going to need a lot of each, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's going to get real, guys. Can I put this on here? No, I can't. Okay, that's all right. We're just going to go ahead and put this in here. Um, we'll put... Wait, why do I have a sieve on me? What? Is that's a thing that happened? Where is the mesh for it? Ah, here it is. Okay. So we'll do that, and then let's actually convert the rest of this into sand. So there's the sand. We got 52 sand. Um, we're gonna take a bunch of this cobblestone, nine of it actually. I don't know if that was nine or not, but hey, it was perfect. I'm turning this into compressed cobblestone. That's gonna make my life a little bit easier. Uh, let's heal this guy here. So what we'll do is we'll lay down some of this compressed cobble. And for those of you that don't know, you can actually crush compressed cobble just the same way that you can crush cobblestone and it yeah turns it into compressed gravel now we can take that compressed gravel and we'll take i don't know 30, 32 of it maybe 34 sure why not and turn that into some more sand and yep now we can decompress these items and they will turn back into their decompressed counterparts. So that's good. There's a thing that we can do. Uh, let's go ahead and convert a bunch of this dust into some clay. So we'll just do this here, and like so. Eventually I'll automate this so it's easier, but right now we don't have the resources for that. Let's do here, here. Grindy, grindy, grindy. I'm gonna need actually more clay than this even. So that's eight. Let's do, let's do 16 for now. It's gonna take us forever to get this business going. So we might as well have all the grout that we need or at least the starting amount that we need. Once we get the smeltery up and running a little bit, we can actually make the grout in the smeltery. Uh, and kind of go from there, but for now, now let's see. Grout. Let's book. No, let's bookmark this. That way I don't have to keep going and finding it. Okay, so we've got two stacks of grout. Go ahead and throw that in there. It's going to take forever and a day. And you know what, actually, what I'm going to do here is take this. Gonna make ourselves one of these and make our first hopper. <clears throat> We're just gonna do this business here. Yep, that's the thing. So that'll just keep going as we are chilling, doing things in our base here. Um, what I want to do with the rest of this is actually see it. So just kind of try and get some some items going. I'm dropping things. Things are dropping everywhere. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, diamonds. So we'll go ahead and put a bunch of this stuff away here. And actually put all of these away in that. Candy. I don't need the iron at this moment. I don't need the dust at this moment. Actually, I do need the dust. Okay. Yeah. That's something that I want to work on right now, too. So we'll do this. We'll go around and grab all this stuff here. So that's a thing. We have an extra diamond so we can make ourselves a new diamond wand, just in case. The rest of this dust I'm going to actually turn into goodies. So I really want, hopefully, we can get some blaze powder. No? Okay. Well, no blaze powder for us. That's fine. We got two. We need much more than that. Uh, and we're also going to need more chests. Let's do that real quick. Do eight, eight chests. Ah, yes, that's right. 
can't place them next to each other because this is an older version of Minecraft. Let's see. Uh, maybe here? <laughs> Why not? It's a hot mess already anyway. Okay, that should be fine, I guess. Let's move all of the ore items over to that chest. So the ores and stuff will go over here. Do these items here and this, and then yeah, we'll just sort that. Yeah. Sugar can stay here. Crushed quartz gotta go. Kind of coal. Okay. So these, no, nope. these can all go in here for now, and we'll sort that out. Actually, I like it better like this. Okay. Good times. So let's do a thing. Let's actually take all this sand here and we're going to spread it like that. Three, four. Take this. And we're going to just turn all this into dust. Because oh, I really want that place powder. There we go. Okay, we got ourselves plenty of dust here. <clears throat> let's just break all this stuff down real nice and fine into some blaze powder maybe if I'm having any form of luck today what's that sound fire why fire no fire bad fire oh gosh no why fire this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> fire and date and fire bad. No. What happened? Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> that was scary beyond all reason. Let's let's not catch our whole house on fire. That'd be great. Okay, so now we got this. We can just go ahead, not balance, spread it. Turn that into that. Do this. Not catching our house on fire. And yes. That should move a whole heck of a lot faster now. Um, so we'll take what? Why you know work good? Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, there it goes. I think I need to do some maintenance on my PC. It's been it's been a little janky lately. <laughs> lately. Not janky, but like it's been not super happy. It's not very clean either. It needs to be blown out and stuff, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Let's do this. <clears throat> what I want to do is first of all put these items away where they go. And we'll organize this up a little bit. So now that we've got our our blaze mesh here, we should be developing lava quite a bit faster. <clears throat> and we're going to actually take a bunch of this cobble. Okay. Now, hmm, I only have the one diamond. So I think I'm just going to actually... I'm going to make a chisel, but I'm going to make it a, an iron chisel. I prefer diamond chisels because they just last longer and they're better. But in this situation, I only have the one diamond. I don't want to waste it because I'm going to need it for a new wand. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to chisel out this stone into something pretty. Let's see. Hmm. Very nice. Um. Hmm. I don't know which one looks better. Uh, <clears throat> maybe what we'll do is do some of this. And I'll actually cut these wings out here. So it's not going to be like a weird 
kind of pattern that's created. <clears throat> like I said, I don't want my base to be built out of wood. As you just saw, it catches fire quite easily and causes problems. So, yeah, let's not do that. Eat real quick. Okay, what we'll do here is this business. No, wait, what? What? Why do you hate me? Um, yeah, no. I'm gonna do this business. Because this just looks better than the cobbled thing we got going. Oh, it doesn't actually have a real border. Hmm. That makes me a little unhappy, but that's fine. So we're going to border this wood platform in this kind of cobblestone here. And then I'll take another form of cobble and, yeah, do the thing. <clears throat> Just go all the way around here. Welcome, new viewer. It's good to see you. I hope you enjoy. Okay. I'm just going to go all the way around the edge of the base here and kind of make this border like so. And I'm not a huge ugh, I'm not a huge fan of compartmentalizing so like you know making a little pathway that goes out and then having a platform that does something and then doing no we're not going to do that. We're going to we're going to go ahead and actually take our chisel here and make um hmm. The million dollar question is it, isn't it? What are we gonna make? I think. Let's try the dented one and see what that looks like. Eh? Ah, yeah. I kind of like that actually. It's okay. All right. I can live with this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's um, convert some more of this into the dented version. So that's Celtic. I think that has like a figure eight pattern or something on it. Some kind of weird business. But we'll spread this whole platform out a little bit. Okay. And then we'll go this way. So one, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, so six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll try to do this quickly so as not to make an, an unintentional mob farm. Yep, it's looking good, looking good. I think it looks okay, it's, I mean, it's not the greatest, but, you know, there's a starter area, it's not too bad either. Oh, we need more. Uh, these light. Guess what that's from? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Too old. Let's see. We'll just take one of these. <laughs> nope, that's not the kind of chisel that I want. Why am I doing this to myself right now? Okay, here we go. We'll convert these into the dented versions as well. Dented. Al dente, al dente, al dente. Okay, so that's a thing. Let's do that. I'm gonna go out six, one, two, three, four, five, and no, my wand. Sadness. I didn't want to have to make a new wand yet. Oops, I don't know why I did that. There we go. Obviously, six there for now. Um, shoot, now I don't remember where we were. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I know count good. Okay, we'll just push this border out all the way here. Five, six, 
is going to start spawning mobs if I'm not careful. It, it's probably going to do it any, anyway, actually. So we're going to need to immediately kind of grab ourselves some torches. And I think we had just enough. Yeah, we totally did. What is up with that today? That's cool. All right, I'll take it. We're going to just walk around the edges here and kind of throw down torches uh, wherever we need to not have mob spawning, which is the whole platform. I don't know why I said it like that. That was weird. All right. That looks good. Nice. So now we got a large platform to kind of work with, which is great. Um, I think this is full. Yeah. So that's totally full. What we'll do is start pouring this out, making ourselves some blocks. Just going to organize a little bit here. Grab ourselves another bucket. Fill this up more. So that's good. Ew. No. No. Oh, gosh. What is happening? Seriously, stone. This stuff is great. I love it. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to kind of spend some time here pouring out seared stone. I think I need, let's see, 9, 27, I think, to actually make the base of the whole thing. And I don't think you can convert these into, no, you cannot. Seared paver, interesting. Yeah, we got five so far. <clears throat> Here's going to be six, seven, eight. Another thing that we're going to need to do, because we are going to need the brick version of this. So what we can do is actually take this porcelain brick that we're not ever going to use ever again. And just throw it in here and we'll make a cast out of it so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some gold here we'll do that and actually take these out of here and then we'll throw this gold in here that way once this is done we can just make ourselves a little business We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're moving. Moving fast. I don't actually think I've ever progressed this quickly in the small bag. I, I mean, it's we're still on page one, but, but still. Now, I don't think this thing can hold... Yeah, it cannot hold more than one liquid at a time. So, that's a thing. Oh, boy. Yikes. That's okay, we'll just store that there. Now we can take this and make a cast. And that's going to destroy the, po the porcelain brick in there, but that's okay. Uh, no, we're going to take all this back. I don't want to make the rest of this gold right now. So what we'll do is just throw the rest of this in here, and we'll just cast this out into a single ingot. So that's good. Got that. Organize my stuff. All right, now we can start taking this and casting it out into not only the stones but also the bricks. <clears throat> now the question is, where do I want to put this thing? I think maybe you could put it right here or. Yeah, I, you know what, actually, I'm going to put it right here, and then we'll get rid of that whole thing once it's built. So let's start with, let's see, I think right here ought to be good. So that's the bottom plate of it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to need a temp block, so let's do this here. I think 
it's just going to need to be these sides for the first layer at least. Actually, I think even these I can. Yeah, wait. Yeah, no, no, no. These ones need to be here. These parts right here are going to be drains, and then this is going to be the smelter controller, and then this will be the window. So we just need two, three more blocks. At least to get this whole business started. That. Two. And this will be three. If I can get this to melt faster. Come on. Work with me here. Okay. That should be the last block that we need. <clears throat> I think. Two, three, yeah. So there's that. Now we can take this and put it here. And then we just need these two. So one, two. And for the time being, we're going to go ahead and throw a torch up here just so nothing is spawning. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the seared items. So seared. Uh, no, no, no. I think the first thing that I want to make is the smeltery because I always mess that up. Um, is it the smeltery controller? Those are suit bricks. What am I doing with my life right now? Where is it? Let's see. Uh, creeper face. I think it's the smeltery controller. Pretty sure. That's what it is. So let's go ahead and cast out. Uh, we're going to need eight of these seared bricks here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's that. And what we can do is turn these into the smeltery controller. And that is going to be the business end of this whole multi-block contraption. So that's good. Got that. That's a thing, I think. Oh no. Wait, did I make a boo-boo? This doesn't look right. Oh boy. I'm, just, I'm literally the worst, okay. Um, Is a melter. Oh no, it's this one. I always do that. I'm the worst. Oh gosh. Okay, can I? Curiosity is gonna kill the cat today. Can I melt this back down? I'm just gonna put this in here actually. Okay, I need. Oh man. Let's actually, we're going to, yeah. And then, which one, I, need, I think the gauge is going to be better. They all do basically the same thing, so that doesn't really matter. Well, I'm going to need eight more to make two gauges, because you need one for the back and one to make the melter. becomes so much easier once we have this in place. Uh, I think I have some glass too. Yeah, I have glass. Okay. Ooh, please be able to make two. Yes. Perfect. So there's 
two seared gauges. Now we're going to need five more of these bricks to make the controller. And then we'll need 12 more to make the two drains. Three, four, five. So that's a thing. Okay, so we'll just put one of these in here, and this should. Darn it. <laughs> I need six. <laughs> Start making another one while I'm over here. Okay. So that's the melter. I think that's what we actually actually needed. So we'll put that in. I feel like it still doesn't look right. And I'm, I'm like kind of freaking out. <laughs> I just need this to work now. Okay. I know that can go there. So that's a thing. Um, maybe the multi-block structure needs to be completed before it'll actually give me a... Yeah, give me access to it so I'm just gonna go with that uh, to keep my sanity a little bit Let's throw the rest of this cobble in here okay three four five six boom all right, so that should allow us to make ha, our first drain. So we'll do this, boom, seared drain. And that can just go right there. Yep. Now we're gonna need six more of those to make another one. I always have two drains um, and four of these kind of tables. That way I can just produce more at once. Uh, it's just easier that way. Makes my life a little bit easier. I can produce two um, ingots or two blocks at one time. It takes a little bit longer, and I always start out with one of each, but yeah, it just makes life easier later on. Just like the multi block structure will actually be um, taller than it is now, too. This is just to get it, get it going. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is... This is looking like it's wrong. Oh, man. What am I going to do with myself? Maybe it is a controller? It is! Okay. <laughs> oh, I just made something useless. Congratulations, Fire. You, you did some garbage stuff today. Alright. One. Ingots do I have in here? I have plenty of ingots in here. Seven. So this should be our table. So there's that. <clears throat> nope, that's not going to do itself. Do it. It. So. Do it. I don't know. Don't judge me. six and this is seven so that's going to be our first whatever the yeah casting basin i knew what it was you didn't know what it was yep okay then we're going to need to make six more i still got plenty in here so that's good three four Five and six. Boom. So that's that. Now we can make the actual spouts. No, that's not what I wanted. Why? Balance. Yep. Spouts. Spouty things. They do spouty stuff. The spoutiness. Okay, so we got a quest complete for the advanced tinkers, which is good. That's completed. Now, let's go ahead and... Oh, did it actually accept it? Oh, wait. 
Oh no, it won't. It won't do it. It won't do the thing. Will this do the thing? No, it won't do the thing. Okay, well, you know what? I, I've got a special place for you. Mm -hmm. The trash, trash can. That's what you are. Okay. Let's, uh, let's put this over to the casting table, and we'll just cast out the rest of these blocks that we can. Dang it! I shouldn't have done that yet. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? That and then this. That's good. Okay, now we can start building this thing upwards a little bit. So take this and put this here. And if I can, I don't know if there's even a full bucket in here, but I'm going to try. Nope, that's okay. Now we can take this whole thing down because I'm never going to use it again ever. Trash, this is trash. Okay, we'll take this down and just move it. I guess we'll set it like right there. Why not? Okay, right, so these things can go in here for now. Uh, I'm not exactly going to trash them yet because you never know. But uh, for now, we'll keep those like that. The... We're going to need more grout. I need grout. Grout, grout, grout. Grouty goodness. I don't know why I did that. I just literally just put the water back. That was that was good. Mm -hmm. I smart. I do smart things. I have brain that work good. That there and then this here and then these things that do the things and the stuff and the whatnot that was not what I meant to do okay now uh, <laughs> I work anything so that's a thing it's just seven eight nine That's not how you make compressed cobble. There we go. Let's get all this out of the way. I got a lot of junk in my inventory right now. Six. Okay. Let's repair our hammer here. And we're just going to break this down. And then we're going to take four. Thirty two. Crush that. Turn this into sand. Now we'll go ahead and take this and make more grout. Grout. Grouty goodness. Okay. And made this back. Let's throw that in there. Okay. We're gonna let this kind of do its thing for a minute here. Um and come back to that once it's been done smelting some things. Put some more lava here just in case. If I can do this without dying, there we go. Okay, and then in the meantime, let's go ahead and do some sifting. So we're just going to sift all the rest of these things that we have. Yeah, looks good. It's looking real good. Mm -hmm. All the stuff. Is that purple line or whatever that's going through there? Okay, so it looks like we get a quest complete for Certus Quartz. That's something that we're not going to be working on for quite some time, but that's okay. Oh, cocoa beans. Very nice. Absolutely completely irrelevant at this current time, but that's fine. <clears throat> May inevitably use them to make brown dye or something. I don't know. Okay, we'll take all this. Throw that in here. We're just going to be basically sifting every single thing that we have in our inventory right now to clear out the inventory and to gather as many resources as possible. And then actually what we can do 
just throw some of the stuff that we're not immediately using um, into here so that way we have more room to work with not the dust okay. yeah it's one of those things it's just like you need all these resources so you might as well spend some time sifting and gathering these items just to have them for later and then you know that way you're not coming back every five minutes to go sift some more stuff because i need this one resource that i totally forgot about or whatever Okay, so that's that. Let's do some of this gravel as well. I think gravel is more likely to give us diamonds. Or is maybe the only thing that gives us diamonds? One of the two, something. Well, that was a weird noise. Quartz. I think some of it was actually charged too. Yeah, some of it was charged. So we got one one diamond out of the deal. Fantastic. I'm feeling like a baller. Okay, then we can take the rest of this compressed gravel and do that too. Might as well. Looks like we got a diamond out of that. That's good. That's cool. I like diamonds. Diamonds are shiny. There we go. We're getting there. Get there. Almost. Almost done. Okay, all the sifting has been done. Let's go ahead and put as much of this away as possible and have too much. Too many items. Oh gosh. Okay. That's why we had two double chests. So we're looking pretty. I got just my mic. Okay. Let's um actually convert some of this. So it's easier to grab. So we can just hold K and just kind of pass our mouse over all of this stuff and that'll convert it into its own counterpart. Make it real chunky. Just get that to grab as much of this as possible, not that. I don't want that. Okay, and we'll do the same thing for these. So just kind of drag our mouse across them to convert. Good. We'll put all the chunks and stuff in here organize that that looks good take those back and then these we'll do these real quick uh, I think that's it okay and then the pieces we'll put in the bottom here like so I think I'll put the flint in the top one too okay boom we got plenty of chunkies okay so now we've got plenty of this stuff going so we can start casting out the rest of these blocks they want to make this two or three high that way it just contains a whole lot more 
And actually, while I'm doing that, I'm going to cast these bricks as well, because I need to make another table and all that good stuff. back and forth between the two here be as efficient as possible I guess <clears throat> excuse me Too many that's fine we'll just take one of these and put it back in here okay now we can come over here and make another casting table and another casting basin that way we have two of each here we'll place this one on this side underneath that one and oh you know what i didn't actually make one too many bricks i still need six more that's okay spouts for these two items as well and the rest of these we'll just use the tables for that so we have nine of these blocks we can go ahead and line them up across here you're gonna have to remember to put some uh, torches up there up there start doing this how much do I have left in here See, 14 blocks, that should be more than enough, actually. I think if I do this, we should be able to actually get up here from here. Yep. So we'll start over on this edge and just kind of move our way around. Every uh, block high that you increase this multi-block it increases the capacity by quite a bit actually it's not like insane or anything but um, it will have quite a bit more room for these blocks and this I believe also gets larger I'm not 100% sure about that one but uh, we'll see here in just a second I guess So what is it at right now? So the capacity of this thing is at 144 ingots. So we only have two more that we have to place, so that's good. Let's make this as high as possible. So, yeah. two. so it was at 144, and now it is at 216. So yeah, every um, size increases the amount that you can put into it, and also the amount that it can carry overall. So that's good. Boop, boop. Um, Okay, that, that's a thing that happened. Aha! 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 I, I do the things. Maybe I'll just like put a piece of dust on here to get up. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to make this any taller right now, but I'll just put those up there just to store them. And that way we have that many on there in the future. Okay, so the next thing we need to start doing actually with this is throwing some of this gold in here and allowing that to smelt down so we can cast out some some bits. So we'll do that and then and then and then and then, and then, and then let's see where we're at here. So we got lots of stuff going on. Another thing that I want to kind of automate early on is the hopper situation. So or bonsai situation. So what we'll do is actually 
make a few of these bonsai pots. And I actually have some clay here, so we can throw these in our iron furnace. And I have 20 more iron, so I'm actually going to make this one iron too. That. Nope. That's not how you do that. So that's good. Got two iron furnaces. A little bit faster. They can be upgraded and all that good stuff. You could put some things in them and stuff. Um, let's go ahead, while we have the dust, we're going to just make a little bit more clay. Because uh, I'm going to need two of these hopping bonsai pots. So we'll do that. Break these down. And we'll put these in this one. There's five of those. We can go ahead and make ourselves a bonsai pot. This allows us to grow trees. Uh, and then, yeah, I need dirt though. So I have some of these. We can just throw this dirt, in here, or not dirt, these uh, saplings in here. They're not the greatest. I'd prefer to use leaves, but this will work for now. It gives us four dirt to work with. Um, I think with some of this iron, also, we're going to want to make some shears. So we'll make a couple shears here. Take these out. Well, that was a weird jump. What the heck? Okay. So we got ourselves some dirt. Um, we're going to need wood. Actually, we don't need wood because we have chests. Probably still going to need wood, though. So that's a thing. We got the hopper. Yeah, we're actually going to need more chests than that. Let's just make four more. And then we need some more iron as well. So we can take some of these iron ore chunks. And then... A couple of these bricks. We'll make a new cast for this side here. Uh-huh. Do this. That way we can actually get this whole thing started. So what we'll do... Uh, I don't really know where I want to place this. I guess I could just put it over here for right now. Um, that does complete two of the quests on, on our quest line. But yeah, we'll put the hopping bonsai up here, throw some dirt into it, and then if we take a sapling and throw it into the hopping bonsai, it'll automatically go to that tree for us and poop out items into the chest. So that's good. That way we don't have to do the whole, like, I'm going to work for 10 minutes to get an item. Let me get rid of this waypoint. Remove that. I don't want that. Okay. Let's go ahead and make another one of these. Make a couple of them, actually. Uh, and then... Yeah. So now we've got these two casts. Let's do this. I need two of these. Two pattern chests. So what we can do is put one of them right here, and then we'll put one of them inset into the ground. That way we have two, because you can't put two casts into one um, cast chest, unfortunately. Now, what we can do is take this out of here, because we don't need that to be in there. We're going to take all of these <clears throat> and make a stone version of each one, so two stone versions of each cast. One, two. A lot of these I will probably never use, but it's good to have the cast for them. So we'll take those and put those away. One, two of these. Two wide guards. Like I said, I probably won't use any of these, but I like to have them just in case there are occasions where I want to make something out of a different material, and it's good to have the parts for it, so. And since we have the gold to do so, we might as well. So we'll just do these here. Okay, got two wide guard casts. Now we can do these here. I don't know why I didn't just stack these from the beginning. 
that was dumb, but whatever. So we get those. We'll do the rods. Should have enough gold for this. <clears throat> we'll do those here. These away. Two of these. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make the sledgehammer one because I will literally never use it. There are situations where I use these other ones, the sledgehammer I won't use, so there's no point in doing that. Okay, let's go ahead and make one and two of these shovel heads. Get to these next. And then while that's going, we're going to go ahead and make stone gears too, so we can make the gear cast. Stone. Just trying to think ahead. Gear. There we go. Stone gears. So we need sticks. To have sticks. Right here. I'm just going to mark this one. One, two. Take all these back. Okie dokie. So we'll actually make the gear cast first. So that. Boom, boom. And then these can go in here too. Do the bindings. The bindings I will actually use because I will make copper bindings in the future. It allows you to get experience while mining. So we'll do that. And then these bad boys here. And I think at the moment there's not any other casts that I need specifically. Um, I will end up needing like nugget casts and stuff like that, but for now it's not a big deal. And we can just cast out the rest of this gold here, which is taking forever. Okay. So let's go ahead and collect the RAK for these bonsai situations. We'll put that away. We've already got almost two stacks of R.A.K., which is sweet. Okay, so. So, for this next bit, I'm going to need slime. And it's not looking like we generated next to a floating slime island, which is kind of rough. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of not my favorite. Hmm. Yeah, it's not looking good out there. Okay, but let's, let's think about this. I think I gotta make slime with uh, rice. So we might have to sift some dirt for that. <clears throat> Almost. Hey. You come in here and hang out with me. Just uh, no screaming. Sorry guys, my son wants to hang out, so he's going to be in the background chilling. Hi. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. Slime, 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 slime. Maybe? Rice slime balls. This is what we need. So we need rice dough. Uh, for rice dough, we need rice. And for rice, we need rice seeds. Obviously, that would make sense. So... I think what we're going to do, shoot, now I actually need the string yep. meshes, so I'll yeah, we'll just do four of them, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away. We're going to, can I vein mine these? Yes, I can, very nice. So we'll go ahead and lay these back down. We're actually going to just put string mesh into these four. And we're going to do a thing. Since I don't need any of these saplings anymore, really, we can go ahead and just compost the rest of them here. <clears throat> I'm going to need iron. I'm going to need iron. I'm going to need iron. I know I've said that like four times now, but I really am going to need iron. Okay. Yeah, iron. Hello. 
All right, so this should be the iron that we need for this hopper, maybe? Where's the, I could have sworn there was a tooltip that allowed you to see. Why am I not getting tooltips? It's weird. Huh, okay, well, such is life, I guess. Wait, ha, I turned them off. I did a thing. I did a thing. Just gonna make the rest of this dirt here. That's good. We got ourselves two iron blocks. We can convert that and make make uh, the hoppers. Maybe? Yes, make the hoppers. Do the things with the hoppers. <clears throat> okay. That's good. Let's go ahead and see about this dirt that we have and try and get ourselves some rice here. Ah, no. Wait. Ah. I got no rice seeds. That makes me sad. Oh well, we can get rid of these pebbles. So we got melon, regular seeds, carrot seeds, pumpkin seeds, grass seeds, barley seeds, and jungle seeds, which we actually are going to be able to use the grass seeds for sure, right, and the rest of them later, but that's not what I want right now. I just want the rice seeds. I need the rice. So, all the rice. Uh, I got some of these in here. I guess I compost those too. Give it, give it, give it to me. I might actually have to manually grow a couple trees just to get that whole thing started. Let's see. Please give me rice seeds. Aha! Rice seeds! Yes! Some luck. Something that I don't normally have. Alright. Let's just throw these pebbles away because I don't want them at all. And look at Wigeon. Wouldn't you know it? We got ourselves a... Does, does this work with this? It does not. Okay, that's fine. We have some bone meal around here somewhere. Yep, bone meal. We're just going to grow out as much of this as possible. With this remaining bone meal... Okay, uh, we got extra rice seeds now, which I'm actually going to use those to grow more rice, like like this, with the things. Oh, I got rid of all the dirt, or all the grass, that's fine, I don't care. I'll live. So we got plenty of rice growing now, we have these um, ricey rice bits of riciness. What we can do is take these and convert them into not, no, not the things, no, uh, what do I do, oh, here we go, right, let's go, 
And then the rice dough can be turned into rice balls, rice slime balls, slime balls of rice. And I guess we're just going to do it like this. That's the thing that's happening. It's annoying when you have uh, recipes that require something that you can only stack one of because life is hard. All right. Now you may be asking yourself, well, fire, why do we need rice slime balls? That's dumb and weird. In many ways, yes, it is weird, but we need this to create vector plates. So if we look at vector plates, vector plates of vectorness. Uh, we need chiseled stone, iron ingots, some form of slime balls, and sugar. Hence we're, why we were grabbing sugar earlier as well. Uh, I need to make some stone, actually. So let's just split this and that. And we'll do a thing with the stuff. So each one of these recipes makes eight vector plates. Vector plates slowly pushes mobs in the direction it points. Sneaking mobs are not affected. Most mobs are not sneaking, so that's fine. Okay, We've got these. We can go ahead and do the thing, which I can't remember the recipe anymore. Because life is hard. Let's see, like this. Ha! We got sixteen plates. Uh, I'm fairly certain I'm going to need more than that, actually. Let's put this tiny coal in here so we don't run out. Uh, here's one more stone. Wait, did I just do that without chiseled stone? Oh, so you can use regular stone for these recipes. That's cool. Okay, so we got 32 vector plates. Um, oof, oof, oof. Diamonds. Let's see. Another thing that we're going to need is a spike. Spikes of spikiness. And that is quite expensive. So let's go ahead and let's put all this stuff away here. Put those with this. Put these in here. We're going to cut these down again because we're not going to need them at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just in that. This. Okay. So that's the thing. And I'm going to keep the vector plates on me. I don't need this worm or this dirt. Yeah. Yep. 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 We can put those away too. Um, let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch of cobblestone because we're going to need. Cobblestone. This, this one just put, put it back, I guess. Yep. Put this in here. I don't know why I have like a whole ton of oak wood on me, but that's fine. Okay. Kind of lay this out here. We. Maybe. Nope. Okay, that's it. Ooh. Ooh, it's broken. Mm, some of these sharpening is not helping here, so we can just repair that real quick. And we'll break this. Bam! Oh, look at that! Now accustomed to the weight of the stone sledgehammer. Just means that we have more modifiers to put on it, which is great. Good stuff there. So let's just... Yep. Sieve until my heart is content. Or until we have enough diamonds to do the things that we want to do in life. Hey, look, a diamond. I find diamond things. We're just going to keep going here. <clears throat> okay, we got a couple diamonds. See if I remember correctly, we're going to need two, four, six, plus nine, so fifteen diamonds in total. Let's go ahead and put the, this stuff away here. Pick up all these other items that are dropping all over the place. 
Boop, 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 boop. We got two diamonds out of all that. We got plenty of gravel though, so we should be fine. <clears throat> Not to mention all the other resources that we're going to be getting from this, which we will end up needing over time. So it doesn't hurt to do a lot of seeding early on. Okay, that's that. Ooh, still need two diamonds. Okay, we got three so far. I'm doing okay. Don't know I'm just come here and grab the rest of this stuff. <clears throat> really hoping we can get enough diamonds in this first pass to do what we need to do. I could, I guess, make an auto sifter, which would make life a little bit easier, but I'm lazy. Laziness is a thing, so. Oh gosh, this is not looking good for us right now, guys. It's, it's not looking good. It's looking bad. It's looking like diamonds aren't a thing that are happening. Oh no. Okay, it's alright. We still got plenty of gravel. I think they have a really, like a really low chance of dropping from these seeds, so I, w I would be kind of surprised if we got all the diamonds that we needed. was one. Saw it. Saw that maybe it was platinum. Might not have been diamond. Oh no. I need the diamond gods to bless me. I think this is gonna I think this is our last stack of gravel that we had on us. So I'm wondering if this is even gonna work here. I'm just gonna dance. Dance on here. Dance. Oh no. No. Ah, eleven. We were so close, guys. We're so close. Alright, that's okay. That is okay. We got we got a pretty good amount of diamonds there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, at least for now. Let's see, we're gonna need more, but 
It is what it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna call it a day there. That uh, that is about all I have time for today. So it was it was fun. It was real. We got some stuff done. We did some things. Got into tinkers. Uh, we did quite a bit of the initial questing here, so that's good. I think next time we'll work on upgrading our furnaces more. Um, getting the rest of those diamonds so we can make the mob spike and start mob farming. Kind of doing those things so we can progress in the game a little bit more. I want to get to the nether. Uh, that's when things start to get real fun. So, other than that, guys, it was fun playing and hanging out. And I hope you have a great day. Bye. I'm going to go and uh, do some things and hang out with my family. And we'll see you all later. Bye-bye.